Hello, my name is Simran Gupta and I am from Los Altos, California. I am currently a high school junior who loves to travel, volunteer, and learn about different cultures. When I found out about Amigos, thanks to my amazing middle school Spanish teacher who is an Amigos alumni herself, I fell in love with the program and what Amigos has to offer. I have now completed two programs. I went to Panama last summer, and this summer I completed the Community Impact Project. There are so many things about Amigos which I would want to share with you, but that would take forever. So I will tell you about the long-lasting impact and change Amigos has had on me. When I went to Panama last summer, during the first week of the trip, we were at a turtle reserve where we learned more about the different types of turtles and about their life cycle. We also supported the turtle reserve by helping them set up for a big fair that they had. Teamwork was involved, which allowed me to build stronger bonds with the rest of my cohort. This influenced me because I made new friends and could connect with them at a deeper level. The second week, I stayed with a host family in a village called Monte Grande, off from Penanome, Cochle, Panama. During this time, we went to the local school and taught the students about environmental sustainability by playing games with them all in Spanish and taught them a few English lessons as well. We also helped out the school by building them a stage where the students can do their performances. At home with my host family, I communicated with them all in Spanish, and I learned more about the culture of Panamanians, such as their traditional clothing and dances. A few years earlier with my family, I traveled to Panama, and let me just say, the experience I had as a tourist and my experience as a volunteer with Amigos was very different. As a volunteer, I really got to immerse in the culture and got to talk more to the locals and listen to their stories. After my trip to Panama, I knew that my journey with Amigos would not end there. Although I couldn't travel to Latin America with Amigos again this summer, I was so excited to hear that Amigos had put together the Community Impact Project. During the program, we learned about leadership, the design thinking process, food and traditions of different cultures, and how language shapes our thinking. And best of all, this all helped me to take the initiative to create something new, which would help out my community. Since many schools moved to online learning due to the health crisis last spring, the resources that students relied on to receive help with their classes also shut down, leaving many students struggling to understand the material on their own. I was one of those students, and now that many schools have gone virtual this school year, I wanted to help by building this virtual center. Although the program with Amigos did end a month ago, I have not ended my work with my school's tutorial center coordinator and my principal on the center. We launched it just two weeks ago, and we are hoping to get more student tutors and camera equipment for the tutors. Working with them has taught me how to work and communicate with others. My trip to Panama with Amigos and the Community Impact Project are programs that I will never forget as it taught me about leadership, different cultures, and community building. In Panama, I learned how to be a leader when teaching kids at the local school about environmental sustainability. I also learned about the culture of Panamanians, such as what they ate and their traditional clothing. Finally, I learned about teamwork when we helped build the stage and when, help, and when we helped set up the fair. In the Community Impact Project, I learned that I can make an impact in my community and be a leader. I learned about the different cultures of the other students from the U.S. and from Latin America who completed the program with me. I learned about the school system and about the food and traditions of students coming from Costa Rica, Uruguay, and Belize. It felt great to talk to people from Latin America, even through a virtual manner, something you don't get to do often. Although these programs did come to an end, I keep in touch with my Panama fellow volunteers through Zoom reunions and even with my host family. It is great to talk to them because I missed being with them and I wanted to maintain the strong bond we had. Amigos has been like a second family to me and I hope to do more trips with Amigos in the future, such as the four or six week trip to the Dominican Republic, Peru or Ecuador, and even be a mentor and go through the entire Amigos ladder. Thank you so much for listening about my journey with Amigos and thank you for coming to this event and supporting our loving family at Amigos.